Excuse me, sir. Sir, how you doing? My name is Devon. I'm an artist from New York City. I love your look. I would love to draw your portrait if you have time. Okay, sure. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Okay. What's your name and what's one of your biggest dreams in life? My name is Roberto. It's a great question because I don't have just one dream. My problem is probably that I have too many dreams. <laughs> too many dreams, that's a good thing. <laughs> yes, that's a good thing, but sometimes you have to choose. Very true. What's one of your favorites? Is to, is to do something helpful for other people. I would like to, to work in Africa, actually, a, as a doctor, yes. Oh, wow. I have a very great character to, to have in a film. Like, yeah. Yeah, something that changes your life. You know? Yeah, for sure. But not for fame or, or anything. So. Yeah, like making real art, but not for like the superficial reasons of money and fame, but just yes, to make sure. true, like a masterpiece. Yeah, and my problem is that I'm never satisfied with what I do, <laughs> with my work. I mean, I can't, I can't see me again. That's a good thing, though. Some of the most successful people, they're never satisfied, so it always like brings them up the ranks, you know? So when did you start acting? When I was 11. 11? Yes, and uh, actually it happened by chance. There was a friend of a friend of my father who yes. was, uh, was a casting, and so they told me, why don't you have an audition? And so I had this audition. I, I've never thought about, you know, being an actor before. Yeah. And then everything started. Did you grow up here in Rome? Yes. How was it growing up in Rome? I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love Rome. Uh, I have also been lucky that I live pretty in the city center. So I moved by bike. Uh, I have all my friends here and yes. What are you most excited about in life right now? I know it sounds strange, but I'm I am excited of living. You know, living is something, it's crazy. I mean, it, it happened by chance. Yeah. Uh, we are very lucky to be alive, actually. I know. We, we never think I about think about it. this all the time, like, just like living, just like being one of the, you know, humans on Earth. You know, we're in the game of humanity. It's just a beautiful thing. Just to be alive, I, I feel the same way. Just to experience and um, just look around and just to breathe is, is an amazing thing. So a lot of people have been asking me recently, like, what do I think about this whole TikTok ban? And I'm like, I don't care. I'm not even supposed to be here anyway. Like, if it gets banned, I'm happy that it happened anyway, you know, like. I think I really like uh, that I, I started doing recently is to travel alone. Yeah. I went to, to Athens recently and I spent a really great time, you know, I was not alone, let's say, but I was with myself. Yeah. And that's crazy. I took time for myself, thinking, thinking on life. Traveling is so fun. It's been like my new, my new addiction to travel and to go around the world and paint watercolors. And now I'm like making prints of watercolors that I'm making all around the world. And my last print drop is sold out in four minutes. So four minutes. Yeah, it's wild. So I'm just gonna continue. Who was one of the most influential people in your life? Definitely my parents. Your parents? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I grew up with them. So of course they influence you. And you know, for, for good things, but also bad things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the bad things, I mean, you have to learn what are bad things. Yeah, <laughs> what were some of the bad things? Can't tell. Oh now. yeah, yeah, we can't. <laughs> okay, maybe we won't talk about it. <laughs> My, my grandma always tells me there's no perfect family. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yes. What was one of your fondest childhood memories? Well, I think that one of my favorite memories when I was a kid and we were like on my grandfather boat. Yeah. And we went to the Caribbean. Oh, yeah, wow. it's been great. Yeah, yes. that sounds fun. <laughs> what message do you think the world needs to hear right now? Right now, uh, I think that we should all uh, wake up. I mean, yeah. uh, we're, I don't think we are actually understanding that our world is heating up and, you know, it's, it's a mess all around the world. There are wars, there are people who are starving. I mean, I, I, I'm just lucky because I was born in Italy. I can eat yeah. what I want. That's not fair that there are kids who die of starvation. Yeah. But, what I'm really afraid of is the climate change, and, but not only climate change, but natural crisis. Thank you for sharing your life with me. This is my interpretation of your life. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet thank you. you. Thank nice you for everything. You. I love it here in Rome. Thank Hopefully you. I come back. Okay. Right. Have a good day, man. Thank you. Bye.